And welcome back to the Cincinnati Reds franchise mode here on MLB The Show 24. My apologies for the later upload, but had some internet issues or whatnot. So we're here for potentially the final regular season episode here of the Cincinnati Reds franchise. We currently hold that last wild card in the National League and have a huge series here with the Chicago Cubs. We are tied for the second and third wild card right now with Chicago. And this is how it goes, basically. A win here tonight would guarantee the Reds a wild card berth. A loss for either the Reds or the Cubs, and you have to hope the Braves lose or you can win the final game of the season. So basically, if the Braves lose one out of the next two games, the Reds and the Cubs will both be in the postseason. The winner of today's game, no matter what between the Reds and the Cubs will be in, and the loser will either need a Braves loss out the final two or a win in the final game of the regular season. But again, just to simplify things, win today and you're in. You win today, then you go on to a series with the Arizona Diamondbacks in the playoffs. You lose, then you get into some trouble. Now, I will just say it now, the Braves won. So if we lose today, then we're gonna have to play game 162, where if you win, you're in. If you lose, you need the Braves to lose as well to make the playoffs. So uh, it's really complicated, but the Reds just need to win today, get to 90 wins, and you will be a postseason team. The only way they don't get in is if they lose out and the Braves win out. Well, the Braves have won one of two. We'll see what happens tomorrow if the Reds cannot secure the wild card berth here tonight. And if you remember the first time we played the Cubs in this series, well, you know, we played him that shootout game and we lost after giving up like 14 runs. Here's your Reds lineup for tonight. It goes Friedel, McLean, Candelario, Martinez, De La Cruz, Benson, Marte, Steer, and Stevenson. We send Friedel here on a 2-1 pitch and he will swipe second base. So Friedel will be on second now for J. Mayer Candelario. Here comes the Candyman and Candelario up the middle will ground out to second to Nico Honer. Runner on third with two outs for J.D. Martinez, and that's going to be ball four. So Javier Assad's going to put him on first and third with two outs. Here comes Ellie De La Cruz. He's going to put one on the ground. Dansby Swanson to make the play, and he will put away the inning. To the bottom of the first, pitching will be Nick Martinez back in the rotation, obviously, with the Max Scherzer injury. ERA of five on the regular season. He will see Nico Honer first, and Honer is going to put that one into right field, right into the glove of Will Benson. Now up, Dansby Swanson on the ground, right to the former Chicago Cub in J. Mayer Candelario. Two up, two down, and now the right fielder steps in the box. It'll be Seiya Suzuki. Suzuki on the ground, going to get one into left field. It will be a two out base knock for Chicago, extending this first inning for Patrick Wisdom, the DH and Wisdom on the ground to Ellie De La Cruz, De La Cruz to steer. Nice play right there to end the first inning. Under the top of the second after a Will Benson strikeout, and Levy Marte going to lift one deep left field. That's going to get down off the wall. He's on with a leadoff double. Spencer Steer, or one out double. Spencer Steer now up with that one out runner in scoring position. Marte tags from second to third. So Tyler Stevenson in the box with the chance to give us the go ahead run. It's in the second inning, but still that's what he's gonna do Tyler Stevenson to left field and the Cincinnati Reds go up one to nothing here against the Chicago Cubs TJ Friedel now in a one-two pitch puts one on the ground that will end the second inning for the Reds bats onto the bottom half of the inning Cody Bellinger up first gonna saw his bat off right into the glove of Nolevi Marte we've got one gone for the switch hitting outfielder Ian Happ that strike three on a sinker down questionable call but we will take it it's martinez's first k of the day christopher morell now up the middle that ball is going to get through it will be a two out single for him so morell extends the inning for the first baseman ryan noda one of two lefties in this chicago lineup will ground out to end the inning to the top of the third matt mcclain up first for cincinnati mcclain just going to get jammed on that inside sinker it'll be the first out for the Reds, J. Mayer Candelario going to hit that sinker hard into left field. But oh my goodness, Ian Happ with a diving play puts away Candelario. I mean, that could have been a double, probably not three, but definitely extra bases. And instead, the Reds get nothing here in the top of the third. Again, the Cubs fighting for their playoff lives as well. The winner of this game is in the playoffs. The loser has to go on to tomorrow and win to get in. Nico Honer with one out hits one over the head of Spencer Steer. It'll be on with a one out single. Will Honer, now Dansby Swanson on the 2-1 runner going. We can only get one out here with Honer in motion. So runner on second with two outs for Seiya Suzuki. On the 1-1 pitch, Suzuki right in the glove of Candelario. 
That'll do it for the third on to the top of the fourth. Ellie De La Cruz up first for Cincinnati. He's just going to roll over to two first base. One gone now for the sixth spot, which means Will Benson on the one-two offering. Benson hits one up the middle. Dansby Swanson, though, is there to make the out. Two gone for Nolevi Marte. He got it going in the second inning, but right here, he'll just roll over a cutter. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth with Cincinnati still in the lead, 1-0, but obviously not much run support for Nick Martinez as Patrick Wisdom's going to start off the bottom of the fourth by hitting a double into deep right field. I mean, it's just kind of a blooper, but it gets through, obviously. Wisdom is on second base with no outs for Cody Bellinger. Bellinger cranks one center field. There is Friedel to make the play. Wisdom, those tags from second to third. Runner on third, one out for the Cubs, and a huge spot now for Ian Happ. He made that incredible play in the field in the last inning, and Ian Happ is going to do it at the plate as well. Ian Happ makes this a one-to-one -one game. He will drive in Patrick Wisdom, and this game is now tied here in the bottom of the fourth. Christopher Morrell trying to add on. He's going to ground out to Ellie De La Cruz. Still, by the way, only one out in this inning. Morrell goes down, but here comes the first baseman, Ryan Noda, on the 3-2 Noda, straight into the glove of Ellie De La Cruz to the fifth. Still 1-1, one, one. Spencer Steer leading things off, and there, that should be extra bases. Steer in the right center field, that ball gets down, and he should have more. He'll stay at second base, a leadoff double for Cincinnati is huge. Tyler Stevenson drove in Marte last at bat, this time that one's gonna get away, and we will send Steer over to third. So still no outs, runner on third. Tyler Stevenson still in the box, and I'm gonna say he went on that pitch, I, I don't know. Okay, one gone for TJ Friedel. Just got to bring in the runner here, and that's exactly what Friedel will do. That ball is going to get through. Two to one now, our score. And now we'll do it for Assad. In comes the lefty and Drew Smiley. 3.76 ERA so far in the season for the long reliever. Runner in motion for Matt McLean. will keep us out of the double play ball. And we're going to send Friedel actually all the way from first to third. Obviously, with the third baseman and Morrell charging in, we'll have him on third base with two outs. Can Candelario pick him up? Unfortunately, he cannot. But more importantly, the Reds do take the lead in the fifth inning, 2-1, to one, to the bottom half now. Nick Martinez still in the game for Cincinnati. Ellie De La Cruz should have the first out right here as he makes that play up the middle. One gone for Nico Honer on the 1-2 pitch. Honer swing and a miss on the circle change from Nick Martinez. Like me, Martinez's last inning with a runner on first, he will strike out Seiya Suzuki. We head to the sixth. It will be a bullpen game on both sides now as J.D. Martinez leads things off and just not a great swing right there. Martinez with 39 home runs in this regular season will fly out to left field. One out, Ellie De La Cruz, the batter. He smokes one into left field. There he goes again. Ellie De La Cruz takes that curveball and that will be a double for 99 speed. Ellie De La Cruz, can we bring him in? Lefty lefty matchup for Will Benson, just a horrific swing right to Christopher Morrell. Two gone now for the seven spot. No Levy Marte. Can he pick up Ellie De La Cruz? He cannot. He'll ground out to Nico Honer at second base. To the bottom half of the sixth inning. Where will the Reds go in the pen? The go to James Karinchak. Picked him up in the middle of the season with the trade with the Guardians. 3.31 ERA for Karinchak so far this season. His first batter is Patrick Wisdom. Not a great pitch, but he still strikes out Wisdom on a knuckle curve. Cody Bellinger on the 1-1. One, one, lifts one to the left field. Matt McLean can't get there in time. Bellinger is going to be on with a one-out single. Ian Happ on the 2-2. Two, two. What an impact he has had in today's game. Right there, though, Karinchak should be able to get him out as he will. Friedel is in right center field. Two gone. Runner still on first for Christopher Morrell. 2-1 pitch as he dribbles one right to Spencer Steer. Three innings to go, and the Reds may be back on their way to the postseason. Spencer Steer, another hit in the gap. Looks almost identical to his last one. It's going to be more than a double this time because Steer's looking for three. Can he get in there? He's around the tag and he's safe. It's a leadoff triple for Spencer Steer. Absolutely huge in providing us insurance runs. Tyler Stevenson picked up an RBI earlier in this game. This time, though, just a ground out. One gone at TJ Friedel on the 2-1 pitch. He lifts one into right field. That ball is going to be caught, but it should be deep enough for Steer, and it is. 3-1 Cincinnati. Two gone in the inning at Matt McClain now on the 1-1 pitch. He puts one on the ground. That's fine. Two run lead for Cincinnati. You got three innings to go to the pen for. Up first, Gregory Soto, or I guess up second after Karen Chak is Soto, 3.41 ERA on the season. Got him from Philly halfway through the year, and he's making Ryan Noda look silly 
on that fastball away. Got him two up, two down. Another strikeout right there on the fastball up and in. Nico Honer on the one, two. Nico Honer is going to blast the circle change into deep left center. I mean, I don't know what entirely Soto was thinking there. Circle change, dead center. Nico Honer takes it 400 feet, his 14th of the season. And the leadoff man for Chicago has made this a one-run game. Gansby Swanson will strike out. So Soto does somewhat of a job, gets three strikeouts, but gives up a run. We start off the top of the eighth. Carl Edwards pitching for Chicago. He strikes out Jamer Candelario. J.D. Martinez up next. Another out for Carl Edwards. It's going to be a pop out to first base and to Noda. We've got two gone for Ellie De La Cruz. He is going to hit one in the gap potentially, but it will not get down. Bottom eight. T.J. Antone has been spectacular this, this season for Cincinnati. Probably should have been an all-star ERA of two. He will get Seiya Suzuki first, and Suzuki in the air right to J. Mayer Candelario, I guess on a line, but still one gun. We are five outs away. Patrick Wisdom on the 1-1 pitch. On the ground, Ellie De La Cruz should be able to make that play. Look at the arm, two gone in the inning. Cody Bellinger on the 1-2, got him. Cincinnati is three outs away, but let's look to pick up insurance runs first. Yancy Almonte pitching for Chicago, 3.12 ERA so far on the regular season. Will Benson, the first batter, hasn't really done much of note tonight. Benson grounds out to second base and to Nico Honer. Now, Levy Marte on the 1-1 pitch. He will hit one in the left field. That ball is going to get down. Marte's second of the night. He's on with a one-out single. Can we keep it going for Spencer Steer? He will strike out, though, on a slider. Two gone, Tyler Stevenson, 3-1 offering. He walks, second walk drawn by the Reds today. Top of the order, TJ Friedel on a 2-2, unfortunately just gets under a fastball. But okay, the mission is out there. Gotta get three outs. And here comes the all-star closer, Alexis Diaz. 46 saves in the season, just in need of 47 to push Cincinnati to the playoffs, but Ian Happ sneaks one through. He's been there all game long. Runner on first. Here comes the winning run. Christopher Morell. Balls on the ground. Ellie De La Cruz trying to go to second. Throws off. Can't get it to first in time either. First and second. No outs. Ryan Noda to the plate on the one-two. That ball's up and it's out of here. I, I mean, the, the expression on the face of Jonathan India says it all. I mean... I, I, yeah, that's it. I don't, I don't know what to say. The Chicago Cubs win this game 5-3. to three. The Reds seem to just can never get over the hump against this Chicago team. It's been late game heroics from Chicago that's won them games against the Reds twice so far this year, at least the gameplay we've shown here at Wrigley. And now we will have to go play game 162 tomorrow. You win, you're in. If you lose, need some help. But again, you can't let the Braves back into things. You got to win tomorrow and guarantee you get that sixth spot in the National League playoffs and take on the Philadelphia Phillies in the wild card round. So folks, that's going to do it for episode number 10 of the Cincinnati Reds franchise mode here on LMB24. The show could not clinch it tonight, but we'll be back tomorrow to try to seal the deal. Folks, thank you for watching. And Mamba, forever.